We're going to react to somebody who's going from black to blonde in two days. It's better than in one day. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I'm about to screw myself over real quick. But today I will be starting the process back to blonde hair. Here are a few pictures of me with blonde hair that I had about six months ago. Not too long ago, honestly. But you know what? I, I tried out the dark side. I like it, but not as much as the blonde side. The blonde suits you with your skin tone. But with the dark hair, your eyes is really popping out. So I watched tons and tons of videos going from black to blonde, healthy ways to go black to blonde. And I think the first step is to remove as much color as I possibly can from my hair. After coloring it black for the first time, I've only touched it up with black box dye. And I know that's such a no-no in the hair community, but because I've only done it twice, I don't think it's a big deal. I'm gonna first remove as much color as I can from my hair. And for that, I picked up this hair color remover. The box dye that you put it on your hair, do they have a color remover? Because it's always better to use a color remover from the same brand than the box dye. It works better. It's tested for that color. I don't know how well this is going to work and I picked up two because I do have longer hair. I've seen so many videos and it seems to work. I know there's a color oops as well. I think this is the same stuff. So here's how my black hair looks. I just bring out my eye color. My blue eyes stood out with blonde hair as well. But you know what? I just like blonde a tad bit more. It's softer. It's softer for your skin and your skin tone is very pale. So yeah. It's normal that the blonde is good for your skin. That's normal. So I'm going to brush out my hair really well and then section off my hair and apply the hair color remover. Obviously, if I had the money for it, I would go to a salon. But honestly, I'm trying to pay off some medical debt and I just can't fathom spending like almost a thousand dollars, if not more, to go from this color to blonde. A thousand dollars from black to blonde, a thousand dollars. Then I understand you will try it yourself. That's a lot. So I'm done sectioning my hair. I'm gonna leave one out because I have to start with a section. So I'm gonna get these ready and um, we'll get started. Okay. So one thing is very important if you do color removers. If you rinse it out, you have to rinse it out a long, long, long time. So all the pigments are going out. If you don't rinse it for a long time, you have less effect. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, but it's definitely starting to work. Okay guys, so I just showered. I do not think the camera is picking up how much black it took out, but I'll pop in here in the morning when my hair is dry to kind of show you. I think that'll help out a lot. My hair doesn't feel damaged. It doesn't really damage your hair necessarily. Honestly, a part that I was like dreading about this was the in-between, like how you would look in between. But I feel like I could totally rock this. Brown suits you too. You are lucky. And there's a lot of black coming off. Hey guys, so uh, this is how my hair looks when it's dry. Once again, I feel like the camera is not picking up how light it got, but my hair feels the same. I have never used the color oops, but I've heard that it smells so bad. And I'll link this one down below because this one did a really good job. Yeah, it did. Black box dye. And can I say, I know you want blonde. I, I, I understand. I understand you want blonde, but this color, wow. This is really amazing. How beautiful. And I was going to go in with a second round, but I've decided not to because I know that my root area is going to bleach faster. So yeah, I have high hopes for this. Tonight, I'm going to go and start a bleach session with my hair right after work. So wish me luck. But if this turns out smoothly, this will be probably the quickest bleach. Ever. So here is my hair color in the daylight. Much better than having it completely pure black. I accidentally got some on my root and it made it like blonde. Okay guys, so I'm ready to start this process. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I have. So I have this bowl here where I'm gonna have my bleach. I don't want to, you know, not make enough. So I have this big bowl. 
Obviously I have gloves. For toner, I picked up a couple different toners. Two of the Wella T10 toners along with a 9G toner. The reason being is because I don't want my hair to be too silvery. I'd rather have it more on the light yellow side, if you will. Will this video be a successful video? Because everything you see here is better than I what the go home maybe he is home very annoying so i'm very hopeful that this will turn out good there is no t18 either the videos that you watched maybe helped you a lot so high hopes i also know you can't really tone your hair with t10 unless your hair is level 10 so let's hope i get there if not we'll work with what we got wow you really know your stuff. Some tin foil so that I so that I could have the best possible outcome. I got a 30 volume developer, a bunch of it, and the Wella lightning powder. And of course, I have one of these babies. Okay, 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 okay. It's better than 40, but 20 would be better, but okay, 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 okay. So I'm going to comb through my hair really, really, really well. Okay, I mixed up the concoction and I made a lot because I'd rather have leftover than, you know, be in the middle of doing it and not have enough. So I'm going to turn on a murder podcast and start this shit. I'm really nervous, I'm not going to lie. I also sectioned my hair off in four different pieces and then I'm going to take a little bit down and coat it and, and then put the tin foil on it and just... Just repeat that all over my head just don't do the roots please 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 you're doing an amazing job so far so don't spoil it don't mess it up with the roots please I'm already so proud besides the 30 volumes but okay I'm not gonna touch my roots I'm gonna go from the bottom up but I'm not gonna touch my roots just because I know that that will process way faster than, than the rest of my hair <laughs> Oh my god, you make me so happy. I was waiting a long time for a video. Are you kidding me? The title will be The Fly That Annoys The Hairdresser. Okay, she's taking foils. Okay, they are not scratched together. Can be better, but I have seen a lot worse than this. So, okay, and the roots, it's really this, so, good. I'm sorry, but it's really annoying. Okay, back focusing on the good job. Can't I have just a really relaxed video for once? Please, give me that. I took my time and coated every single piece. And as you can see, I mean, it's hard enough doing it on your own, but to try to use foils by yourself was really difficult. I really coated my hair and I put on a timer for 30 minutes. After that's done, I'm going to take these out and fill in my roots and then leave it on for 20 minutes and wash it off. No, 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 very good you had to rinse it out look at the lengths and if the lengths were okay then do the roots if the lengths were not okay do the lengths again until you are very 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 happy that you say oh this is so nice then you do the roots yes it takes longer yes it's more time consuming but the result will be so good because my birthday is next Friday, so <laughs> of course I decided to do it then. All right, everybody. So I'm going to take these babies out and fill my roots in with some bleach and kind of, I don't know, spread some bleach all over and leave it in for 20 more minutes. Not just spread some bleach all over, correct applying the bleach, not just spreading all over. I was so, it was such a good beginning. Oh! Uh, look, she's taking the aluminium foils out and she thinks that the color is really good. You don't see a lot of orange. It's only becoming orange if you rinse it out and you dry it. 
then you see the actual color. If the bleach is on your hair, it's always less orange. I honestly feel like my hair is super blonde. We will see once I wash it out, but I don't want to speak too soon. So I'm going to give this another 15 to 20 minutes so that my roots can turn blonde. And then I will be back after I rinse it out. I definitely think using foils is really smart. Okay guys, so I just rinsed out my hair and I do have hot roots. I kind of expected that because I forgot my timing was a little off. So a lot of my hair is still orange. I'm going to go in with the second bleach because my hair is honestly fine. Like I don't feel a difference in it. It actually was super easy to comb through when I was, when I was rinsing it out. You see, with 30 volumes, it's also orange. If you used 40 volumes, it would be equally orange, maybe even a little bit more. Why not using 20 volumes? You have to do it more than once. Even if you're using 30, 40 or, or 50, so it will be orange. So why not using 20, less damage, and it's slow bleaching, so you kill more orange pigments. And your roots is now already very blonde, pale yellow, and I hope you will not do now the, the roots again. Just do the lengths, please, please. I'm sure that has to do with the fact that I brushed it out really nicely before, but I, it doesn't feel dry whatsoever. So I'm going, I'm going to go in with the second coat. Okay guys, so this is how it looks. Basically 90% dry, it's still a little bit damp in some areas. I definitely feel like my hair feels kind of like the same with the exception of like you know, it's a hair mask. I feel like after a hair mask, it's gonna be exactly the same. I'm not gonna touch my roots whatsoever this time. They are light enough. So I'm gonna go in, section my hair up, do the exact same thing that I did last time. I'm kind of over this. So I hope that this is the last round before I put on this toner. I have this thing on and things are looking blonde, but those orange streaks are hella stubborn. Yeah, let's hope this works out. Orange pigments are really difficult. Yellow pigments are really difficult to get out because they are at the core of your hair. They are the last pigments to melt because bleaching is melting pigments. It's not changing your pigments, it's melting pigments. And that's why you need to use a lower bleach so you can melt them very slowly. I said it in a previous video, it's like baking a steak. If you are putting maximum heat, you put the steak on the pan and it's really, it's fried on the outside and it's really raw on the inside. If you do a very low fire, then it will go equally in the middle. So, and no burned crust on the outside. So it's better. The good cooks are doing slow cooking. If you want to be a good hairdresser, then you will do a slow bleaching. Hey guys, so I have the toner in my hair. Now I'm not like, I don't know how this is going to turn out to be completely honest. We didn't see the results of the second bleach. I still had a little bit of like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a strawberry blonde after the second bleach. So we'll see how it turns out. If it doesn't turn out the desired look, then I'll give it a break and go back in. But this is all I'm gonna do for a while, just because I don't want my hair to be completely wrecked. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this in for a little bit longer and rinse it out. And I do have some hair falling out, not gonna lie, but I'm not too worried, we'll see. I don't think it will be a complete fail. I hope it will not be because she really tried her best she made just two little mistakes straight in with the roots and the 30 volume. For the rest, it was pretty good. So she deserves a pretty good result. Well, here is the final result. So wow. my hair is definitely damaged a little bit, I will say. We see that, that the lengths are pointing out so there's no movement in it. If your hair is not falling very natural, very loose, then it has lack of moisture and protein. If you bleach your hair, it's lack of protein, but also all the moisture is outside your head. So you need to treat it very good, but the result is pretty good. But it's not like 
to the point where it's terrible. Obviously with bleach you do damage your hair a little bit, but I expect it way worse. So my plan is to keep it the same way that I was doing it. So basically I usually wash my hair like once every eight days and then I'm just gonna add a few hair treatments to my routine every week and then brush it less and obviously not use any heat, which is not hard. I don't really use heat at all anyway. So yeah, this is the finished result. Um, I do know I have like a little bit of like a strawberry effect to it, if you will. If you would see it in daylight, you will see more of this golden yellow blonde. It's a very good result and you have to be happy with some gold blonde. Not always wanted to aim for that ash blonde. It's not suiting everybody and you're damaging your hair. We have seen three colors. The black, the brown and the blonde. My favorite is the brown. I liked that color a lot. It's beautiful as it is and the black was also beautiful but very hard for your skin but I liked the brown really did all I gotta do lastly is just to maintain it like I said I don't think my hair is so damaged damaged where it's beyond repair it's definitely still in a good state but I want to bring it back to where it was and just give it some more life so my plan is to you know wash it probably only like a few times a month I hope you guys enjoyed this video you did a good job made two different mistakes with the 30 volumes it would be less damaging if you did it with 20 so that's a thing that you have to remember press one of these videos to see more hair fails and hair tips. Have you learned from this video? Have been entertained by this video? Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell, you can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Facebook, you can follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is ciao kus.